when I think Obey, I think fish. So I'm thinking, how do you do fish and chocolate? What? <clears throat> Hold on. <sighs> okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and today we're gonna be trying some designer luxury chocolates from all 50 states. Now, how did I get chocolates from all 50 states, you may ask? Well, let me tell you. That sounded like an ad, but I promise it's not. It's my, it's my review, y'all. Anyway, so today we're going to be trying the Philip Ashley Taste of America chocolate series. For those of you who may not know, Philip Ashley is a chocolatier based here in Memphis, Tennessee. I had heard about him on Instagram. I can't really re exactly remember when, but I knew when I saw his page that I really wanted to try some. Also, this it came with this little sheet that I probably already put up so you guys can see, and this is what it looks like on the back. Um, and then this is the box. Can we talk about this packaging though real quick? Like, hold on, is that focusing? Like, that's legit. And then it opens up like this. And it's like the music should just say, ah. yeah. So I picked three different chocolates out of this collection to kind of like share and taste with you all. Drop in the comments what three chocolates you would test out and go ahead and give this video a like while you're doing that. Also, as you can see, some of the chocolates, it looks like there is a variety of dark chocolate, milk chocolate, and white chocolate. I'm assuming the more savory flavors are dark chocolate and then some of the milder flavors are milk chocolate and then some of the sweeter flavors are white chocolate. I'm not going to taste any of the white chocolate ones today because I kind of wanted to do some like out there like type of flavor pick up When you pick up one, it has the state under there. So you can't see, but that says Kansas. At first I was like, uh, how do I? I mean, I know my states, but anyway, you know. So I, of course, I'm going to try Tennessee. So let's do Tennessee. Okay. Okay, so I have Tennessee. And Tennessee is a Memphis barbecue. So, okay, I'm nervous. I don't know why, but I am. Okay, so here we go. Hmm. Wow. Okay. It's, I'm trying to think of it. It definitely gives me barbecue sauce vibes, like that sweet, um, I guess like Sweet Baby Ray's if you ever had that, or just that sweet barbecue sauce. Maybe it's Memphis style. I don't know, but that's the vibe that I get from this. This was very good. It, like I was a little nervous about a savory flavor, but this is nice. Actually, I did want to say that I froze these because I got them in December and I froze them because I thought I was going to use them for a special occasion, but plans end up changing. So I was like, okay, I'll go ahead and eat them now because they're made with all fresh ingredients so they don't use preservatives. So you kind of want to eat them when you get them. So the next one that I wanted to try was the North Carolina Strawberry Hot Sauce. <laughs> okay, let's find North Carolina because I actually don't know if I know what that state looks like. Three weeks later. I feel like this is like a geography quiz. That's <laughs> Kansas. Okay, y'all. Oh, you want embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. North Carolina. I know what South Carolina looks like, but I guess I never thought about what North Carolina. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Got it. Is a strawberry hot sauce. Here we go. Definitely sweet. I'm waiting for the hot. Oh. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's like at the end it got spicy. And it's very subtle. Very subtle. Not overwhelming at all with the hot or not even hot. Not even spicy. Ugh, I need to like freshen up on my culinary words because I'm gonna be a food critic. 
I was waiting for the spice or the hot or the heat. I'll say that. I was waiting for the heat and it finally came right at the end. And that was, I don't know why I smell all of them. They don't have smell, but the fruit, you definitely get the fruit and then you get the heat. And that was nice. Okay. And the last one that I was going to test out with you guys was the Junior Cheesecake New York because I love cheesecake. So I had to do that one. I think I should be able to find New York quicker. This is what this one looks like. And here we go. This one. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. That's so interesting. Okay, so all the other ones, um, like Tennessee and stuff, I'll show y'all real quick. And when I bit it, it was, you know, just dark inside. But this one, this one has like a creamy cheesecake inside and actually if you look closely you can see like that red layer that cheesecake had like junior's cheesecake has and it's crazy because this one maybe my flavors are off but it tastes like cheesecake like it doesn't taste like chocolate wrapped in cheesecake it tastes like cheesecake so i did three but i couldn't resist i had to do this old bay maryland old bay on camera because when i think old bay i think fish so i'm thinking how do you do fish and chocolate so let me just so here we go oh it's like Wow, I don't know how you do that. Think of like the salt from Old Bay. It's like, I don't know how he did that. That's crazy. It does taste like Old Bay, but it doesn't taste fishy or bad. Like it tastes like the seasoning salt toned down with chocolate. I don't know. I gotta work on my words because this is like this is like just a hint. Like so, the prominent seasoning is salt, but I can taste the other, the spice and the. I guess I don't know what other flavors are in Old Bay, but you know what Old Bay tastes like. You can definitely taste all of them there, but it doesn't taste nasty. Wow. Yeah, y'all. Savory chocolates. It was still sweet, though, so it wasn't that bad, but like savory flavored chocolates. That's where it's at. All right, everyone. So that is the end of my Philip Ashley Taste of America designer luxury chocolates review. So don't forget to drop a comment on what three flavors you would try and go ahead and like this video and subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.